Hi there and welcome to Madagascar and our home for the last 10 days. The Pavilion Noir has been a pretty amazing place to be in. So come on board and let me show you what's up. Over here is the captain. So yeah, come on board. Let me show you the rest of the place. Pretty sick setup for fishing. This is where we keep all our boards. Yeah, kind of just stash everything up front here. Come around this way. So we come inside our kitchen area. There's 50 slabs of butter and we never get butter with bread, so I'm not sure what that's for. Let's go outside here. Here's a little toilet. The toilet's got like a little fish in it, which I'm not sure if he caught the fish or what that story is, but. Got a barbecue over here, Bry. Boys have been brying some big lobsters and stuff. We come up here. This is the, the captain's seat, the cockpit. It's where Twiggy goes and checks the waves like this. Yeah, that's our boat. Without this boat, I think this trip would have been possible. So survival step for me, number one, is this boat. So these three boards are my Madagascan quiver that I picked out. Um, looking at the swell charts, it was going to be small in the beginning. So. I got this one. This one's actually 5'9", five, five, 19, and 2 and 3 eight. It's like a really fun board when it's like, a, you know, three foot on the reef. And then um, this here, it's my all-round board. 5'11", 19, 2 and 3 16. To have an all-round board on a trip is actually really important. This is actually a board I've been wanting to ride. It's more narrow than all my other boards. It's meant for tubes actually, and I want this. I want to ride this thing. So I was hoping, you know, when it got to about six, eight foot, I'd bring this out. You need a small wave board, a medium, and obviously a board for when it gets bigger. You know, really eye it out and know, know your equipment, what you're going to bring on. Obviously, we're on the east coast of Madagascar. It's known as the most sharkiest place in the world. We've seen um, mostly tigers and zambezis, both of which can be dangerous. We haven't seen a big one yet, but we've seen a couple medium size. Generally, we like to have one person in the lineup with the uh, the East Shark Force. So if we do see a shark, we can just you know crowd together and uh, have a bit of protection. And uh, so far, so good. They seem to be working. No one's been attacked. <laughs> okay, how to survive in Madagascar? You need to get yourself one of these tents that we got. Obviously, there's uh, mosquitoes, there's crocodiles, and there are spiders and stuff all around us. So you don't want to be sleeping in a tent on the ground. You want to be in the air above everything so I mean crocodiles and whatever's in this jungle doesn't reach you. Okay, okay let's get this done by pretty even now this thing works. Dude, there's so many bugs in this jungle. Oh yeah okay looking pretty good. You're nearly there. Hopefully the mosquitoes can't get in there but it looks pretty solid. It's actually better than sleeping in the boat to be honest. <laughs>